Hi everyone. In this series, we are covering the most commonly asked Java technical interview questions. And the topic that we are covering in this video is sum of digits of a string. So here is the requirement of this task. You need to write a program that can calculate the sum of all the digits in a given string. A string will be given to you, which contains letters, special characters, as well as digits. And your job is to extract every single digit and return the sum at the end. For example, if this is the string that is given, the sum of all the digits would be 10, okay? So in order to do that, you would have to iterate every single characters of the string and then verify if the character is digit. If the character is digit, that means that character can be converted to the number. Then you will convert that character to the number and then you will add it to the other numbers that we have in the string. Okay. So first thing that I'm going to do here would be create a loop that can get me every single characters of the string. So if I use the for loop, I can get the index numbers of the character, uh, index numbers of those characters in the string and then use the index number to retrieve the character itself. So I'm going to declare my for loop first. And I can get the character starting from first character to the last character of the string. So first character always starts from index number zero. And as for the last character, I can give the length of the string. Since I'm using this less than operator, I don't have to include minus one. If I was using less than or equal in order to include the last character, then I would have to give minus one. Because last index number is always the length of the string minus one, okay? And if I'm using this less than operator, that means it will include till the last index number. It will not include the length number. And as for the iterator, I can give the increment of i. So now we have this i as the acting as the index number. By using this i, I will be able to get each character of this string. To get each character, I can use charat method and pass this i. Since charat method it returns me char, I can also assign it to a variable of char. Okay. Just for the record, let me print out this char variable during during each iteration of the loop. Let's see if we are able to get every single characters one by one. As you can see, we got each of the characters now. Okay. And next step, I need to verify if uh, during each iteration, if the character is digit. When the loop first iterated, it's going, it's getting me this character. If it is digit, then I need to add it to a number. So which means you need to get the sum of, uh, uh, you need to get calculate the sum at the end, right? So here's my if condition. I can verify if this character is digit. In order to verify if the character is digit or not, we can use the wrapper class of the character. In Java, we have this character wrapper class, which has which has the methods that can help us to verify if the character is digit or a letter or a special character. Okay, so I call this is digit static method of this character wrapper class, and then I will pass the character that I wanted to verify. If the character is digit, that means the character can be converted to the number. Okay. So of course, uh, after I convert the character to the number, I need to add it into another number, right? Which means I, I am going to need a variable which will contain the sum at the end. So this, this loop right here, it will get me every single character and verifies if it is digit. Once I verify that it's digit, I need to, uh, I need to store it into a variable. So what I can do here is to declare this variable sum before the loop, okay? At the beginning, I will set it to zero. And every time when I found out that the character is digit, I will add that character's digit value to this, uh, to this number, okay? So whenever this condition is true, that means this char can be converted to the integer. So in order to convert the char to the integer, from the integer wrapper class, you could use this parseInt method. This parseInt method, it takes string argument. And if, when you give this char as a string argument, it is going to give you this error. But easiest way to convert any char to the string would be by concating it to an empty string so that you will get the character as a string object. And then that string will be converted to the integer. So now I have the integer value of that character. 
that is digit. And once I get the integer value of that character that's digit, next I can add it to this variable sum. Okay. So now what happens is that this loop, it is going to get each character and then it's going to verify if the character's digit. The moment that it verifies that the character's digit, then that character will be converted to the integer number and that integer number will be added to the variable sum. This loop will repeat these statements for every single characters of the string, which means whenever there is a character that's digit, it will be converted to the integer and then it will be added on top of this sum. So after this loop is ended, if you print this variable sum, it is going to return you the sum of the digits, okay? So if this is the given string, the digits are one, two, three, four, and if we add them together, we will have 10, okay? Make sure to leave some comments on uh, right next to those if statements and also this uh, addish, addition assignment operator that we used here and why we are calling this parsing method to convert this char to the integer. Make sure to leave some comment for you uh, in order to, for you to understand it better. And of course, uh, if, if any of those lines of codes are confusing you or if you have any questions related to any of those codes that we have between line, uh, line 10 to line 19, feel free to uh, leave, a comment in the, leave a comment in the comment section. I do check the comment session daily. I do, I do check the comments daily and I will reply to your comment. Please hit the like button if you found this video helpful and consider to subscribe to our channel if you would like to stay connected. Also, let me know in the comment section on which Java technical interview question you want me to cover next. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video.